What's up everybody, Belligerent here with another Bloodline video. The Lume class is broken, certified broken. Let's talk about it in this video. So we've already said we weren't fans of the event, but that is not indicative of the clan itself. If you remember from our clan series, we were big fans of the clan and what we thought they brought. So let's talk about how that's going to work, and I'm going to give you five champions that you need to pair with the, this clan. And specifically, I'm going to look at it as being paired with the female uh, from the clan, because the male, the male fits in everywhere, right? The male has a heal, has a heal, and has a revive. Like, that fits in any composition you want, okay? It's not necessarily going to be strong in every composition. Again, healers have a very finicky place in this game because you, you can lose some damage when all they're doing is healing. So we'll talk about him in a little bit, but we're going to talk about who to pair with the female Lume. Okay, specifically, just let's just give you a refresher if you don't remember, if you didn't see our other video, if you haven't checked her out yet. Her passive... For each debuff on a teammate, damage taken is reduced. And for each buff on a teammate, damage dealt is increased. So that's going to be important to remember. The ultimate links to a teammate with the highest strength. That's the key, highest strength. So when you're building a comp around this ability, remember your primary target for this ability needs to have the highest strength on your team or she's not going to hit them. To channel energy to them, replenishing their enemy to the max. The more energy they replenish, the more the caster's energy will be consumed. Essentially, she triggers her ultimate and trades in having an ultimate that does some kind of damage or other function to basically essentially make somebody repeat their ultimate. Okay, so but it is super strong. And then her active ability I was excited about, but it turns out to be a dud. I don't know if it's broken and they need to fix it or if it's written poorly again. Uh, but most of the time, the bomb doesn't go off. By the time the bomb goes off, the the target was is already dead, for, in my experience. Uh, when it does detonate, it doesn't seem to be a one-second stun. It seems more like a 0.5-second stun. It doesn't seem that as impactful as I thought. Okay, it also says... Uh, Deals damage to nearby enemies. It doesn't appear to do that right now. I don't know how close they have to be, but I've had them standing right next to each other, and the other one didn't take damage. It, if they did take damage, it's definitely not a, an AoE stun as, as I thought it was. So this one is just meh. The ultimate, however, is beautiful. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm going to give you five that you need to pair up with her. One of them is kind of a might upset you a little bit because it's kind of a cop out but we'll get to that one all right so number one tank gotta pair her with the female lion heart tank why well because the female lion hearts ultimate is buffing the entire team so she buffs the entire team which would in turn trigger the passive buff from the female lume gorgeous the other one you gotta pair with her is Miss Spin to win, and it's hard to find a comp where she doesn't fit in. She's just the best warrior in the game. But, I mean, if you think about it, one of her, one of the things that makes her so strong with that spin to win move that she has is that she refills her health. She can tank a lot of damage, but how many times, I know I've had it happen to me, you've probably had it happen to you if you use her. She spins, she refills her health, but so many enemies are targeting her that by the time she finishes the spin she's almost dead again right well with the female lume she can hit her with the ultimate refill her spin and then so she almost instantly spins a second time i've seen it happen which helps keep her alive and helps her kill more people it's a beautiful combo when it works out right okay so there's two number three and this is in no particular order, all right? I'm not ranking these, all right? So the third one is the full guard. Now, you could go with either of them. The male does more damage than the female for the most part. Um, and we all know 
everybody knows the Fulgar clan is broken, right? The damage from them is broken. So why would you not want to trigger your ultimate ability on this clan twice, right? Watch him throw out his electricity and then the female Lume turns and replenishes his ultimate and then he throws out his ultimate again and everything is dead. It's a gorgeous thing. That's the third one you got to pair with him. The fourth one, and you could probably go either or in this clan as well, but this is the one that I have been using, uh, the, the Elf Assassin. It's a gorgeous thing to see him, to see that ultimate trigger, to see him just sapping everybody's energy so they can't get off their abilities and doing tons of damage. It's beautiful. I'm sure it would work just as well. With the female, she does a little more damage from her ultimate, and her ultimate is more of a finisher, as where his is more of a crowd control thing where it sucks out the energy. I think both in this clan, but I'm recommending him as the one that I have played around with. Okay, so that's great. An honorable mention, now, I will say, before we get to the final one, an honorable mention I'm going to throw out there, because I tested it, and it actually works, but I don't know if it makes this particular champion any better because she's already kind of bad however where is she where is she? oh you know what i think i might have got rid of her okay well the female likeness is another one that you could pair and you can summon four wolves at a time i can't tell you if it makes it better i tested it in the arena and by the time all four wolves were on the board, the enemy team was dead. So I haven't really got to play around with it. I didn't have a strong one. So when I tried it in the campaign, she was just getting blown up too fast for me to actually test it. But you can actually get four wolves on the board by making her repeat her ultimate. Okay? So there's that. Oh, and you know what? I'm sorry. I told you I'm going to give you five, but I'm actually going to give you six because I forgot about this one. Uh, the female Ignis, um, twofold. And again, some of the things about buffs are speculative. I believe that when people are burning, she is. this should technically be considered a buff. Um, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's her trait, right? So when they're burning... Um, oh, no, that's not her. I thought... No, maybe not. Okay. Maybe it's the male. I thought she did more damage from the burning. But maybe not. Maybe it's the male that does it. Um, okay. Anyways. But either way, pinballing her ultimate off of a team two times in a row is immensely satisfying and disastrous for the enemy team. So... The female Ignis is the fifth one I'm going to give you now. The one that's kind of a cop-out, and I guess I don't have to cop-out because I told you I was going to give you five. I gave you five solid ones, right? Uh, Miss Spindewin, the Elf, uh, the Tank, Fulgar, and Ignis, okay? Repeating those ultimates are great. However, I said this in the Clan series. It was the closest I've ever been to fence-sitting. They both feel extreme or felt extremely strong from the the descriptions of the abilities they are broken for a completely different reason y'all the best champion that i personally have found to pair the female lume with is the male and let me tell you why okay has nothing to do with the heels it's all about his ultimate. Now, again, in order for this to work, you have to make sure he has the highest strength in your comp. Luckily for me, I have the Mythic, uh, and he has Athletic, so he's got plenty of strength, and I can manage that, right? So what happens is he will cast his ultimate to revive somebody. Or at least if they die within the next five seconds, they get revived. And then the female will immediately refill him and he can recast it. And this does one of two things. It either pulls off two revives or if 
his first revive was too early, he'll hit the same target again, and then they can revive. It is fantastic, it is satisfying, and it is broken. And I'm going to leave you with this video. I'm going to leave you with some montages of this combination of him just constantly reviving people and how it just, like, it's just this, it's like if you just had, if you were a necromancer and you just keep raising them from the dead. Like, watch this and tell me that you don't think this combo is broken. Let me know in the comments if you have found other good pairs for either of these two. Uh, let me know what you think about the clan if you've used them. Like, subscribe, share with a friend. I am belligerent. Peace. All right, so let's check out this clip. I got it playing solo so you can try and catch everything. And I'm trying to try and call it out as it goes. So the fight starts. We get the shields here from the lion heart and then you're going to see ultimates begin to pop off there goes a heal from the male and now the male casts his ultimate on the male lion heart if you look closely you can see the little blue thing he's floating around him and here's the key now the female casts her ultimate to give the male a repeat he casts his ultimate now on the female orc who is the lowest and is actually, she dies right here. And if you watch, she gets revived right now. She gets back up. There you go. You see, she revived. Okay. The male lion heart falls there. But remember, that's one revive and safety for the male lion heart in the beginning. Okay. And now he's going to get off another revive here in just a minute. You'll see him cast his ultimate right after the male elf threw his ultimate. There goes the male Lume's ultimate. It gets cast on the male elf. You see her refill his ultimate. He casts it again, and now you'll see it surrounding the female orc. And here comes the revive on the elf. Okay, and we finished the match there, but had the orc fallen, you see by the swirly thing, she's protected too. All right, let's take a look at this one. Because of the way the game zooms in and out, it may be easier if you pay attention to the icons at the bottom to see what's happening, but I'll try and call it out for you as well. So the elf assassin jumps way onto the back line. We're going to see the male Lume's alt trigger right here. And he hits the male elf in the back line, which you can't see because it's off screen. But right here, you'll see, well, if you watch the icon, I'm sorry, watch the icon, the elf falls right now. And you'll see a revive come out because he was hit. Okay, also notice that the Lume is getting charmed by the Luxuriant all this time. Okay, so his he just also right now is tagging the female orc with the revive and now he's killing her because he's charmed by the luxuriant but when the female orc falls she has the revive on her so she gets back up and so you can see how his ability is almost a counter to the female luxuriant Okay, so here's another example of the female and male's ultimate working in tandem beautifully. So the fight starts here, and you will see that the male's first ultimate targets the female orc on the front line right here, picks her up, and you can see the little twirly indicators right now surrounding her. And now the female is about to trigger her ultimate. You will see it attached to the male Lume. And right now the female orc has just been revived. The male Lume you, throws out his ultimate again. It picks up the male elf who promptly dies. And, surprise, surprise, is revived. So there are back-to-back -back revives, both ultimates resulting in a revive perfectly.